Hello and welcome to Sobrix. I'm Adam and this is Sobrix. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and building them and other Lego related stuff. In this video I'm going to be taking another look at the Lego Creator 3-in-1 called the Cool Cars set. This is set number 4939. It has 206 pieces and I paid $30 for this set. This is a set from 2007. Uh, I got this set sealed, uh, brand new, so someone held onto it for a long time and that's why the price might seem a little bit out of whack and I've already done a video where I looked at the main model this cool car that I have in front of me which means in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the uh, first alternate model which I believe to be this kind of open wheel race car here or like a uh, maybe an F1 adjacent car here uh, there so that's the alternate model and then in the third video I will be looking at the last alternate model which seems to be this cab um, truck here uh, like a, a pickup or sorry a a like uh, semi truck kind of cab there so uh, I'll look at that so I'm, I'm pretty excited to get a look at this I did think there was some interesting kind of more retro style uh, building techniques in this set and maybe some pieces that I would think would have been around at the time but maybe weren't and uh, so I'm, I'm interested to see how that relates to these other models and actually when I looked at the Rotor Rescue set somewhat recently that was a set from like 2009-2010 and I thought some of the alternate builds had maybe a more modern feel to them than the main build and I'm wondering if that might be the case here so in this video I'm going to take apart the main model and put together the uh, first alternate model and then I'm going to share my thoughts on it so while I disassemble this and while I build the first alternate model for this set I will speed the video up and then I'll slow it back down to review the first alternate model for this set so until then enjoy Okay, so while we look at the disassembly for the main build for this LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Cool Car set, and then while we look at the build for the first alternate build, the kind of open wheel race car, I just wanted to say thanks for watching, and then remind you, if you like this video, click the thumbs up. If you like my other videos, click the subscribe button. That helps me a lot. Uh, we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so I appreciate anybody that uh, hasn't subscribed that considers it so thank you very much and we're just finishing up deconstructing the main build and now we can work on this race car here so for the most part this is very very straightforward I, I thought it was super interesting and very vintage feeling to me or retro feeling to me uh, how early we put on the front end of the car there and just exactly how it was put on but there is some you know studs on the side stuff in here some nice uses of some slopes to get the lines correct and the shape correct overall um, and then there's a few other little details that I think are, are pretty good so now on to my review for this set okay so here we have the first alternate build for this 2007 Lego Creator 3-in-1 Cool Cars set and I believe I called this you know sort of a just an open wheel race car um, I thought maybe F1 but maybe it's like an indie car or something like that I'm not really sure if um, the box or anything says specifically what this might be um, just says instructions to rebuild into a race car or a big truck so uh, it's a race car of some sort, but um, this is the first alternate build here. So uh, the first thing to make note of is all the leftover pieces here. So it doesn't use the kind of windscreen here uh, that the main cool car used. Um, a couple of these bigger plates um, weren't used. Actually, the steering wheel and the kind of lever uh, piece weren't used. These kind of metallic silver studs weren't used. A good amount of the one-by-ones. Um, same with these vented pieces. So this set, the main model, only has 206 pieces. And there's a good amount of pieces left over here. Not, uh, I mean, I didn't count them, but there could be you know more than 50 here uh, so I don't know how many pieces are in this exactly but um, those are all the leftover pieces I was actually surprised because from the official images I thought maybe they would try to get the um, get the steering wheel in there but uh, I, I suppose not so we have this and I've been looking at a few other kind of open wheel race cars 
lately from the speed champions to the um icons f1 vehicle and some other stuff so i thought it was interesting to come back to this uh this very much same color scheme as the main model and uh you start building it by adding like the you know, the main core of this is at two wide and it's the longest plate in the um set here we do use one of these bigger plates kind of as the base. We do have, uh, these are like where the axles would be. So these one by sixes here. And uh, this one compared to the main one is essentially six wide for the majority of it. But because of the wheels sticking out, it essentially comes down to eight wide. I don't know if there would have been a way to bring these wheels in just a little bit more, but I think I like how it looks like this. So it's a very basic plate built kind of chassis uh, area for this. And then we slowly start building it up. Actually pretty early on, you kind of add some stuff around the back uh, and add some stuff at the front. I think this is really a, uh, kind of an interesting vintage kind of thing here for the the front end of this which i'd never know what to call the front end of of some like an f1 car or anything like that but um this little bit here is really kind of i don't, I don't know if lego would do this in the same way it's very blocky very square uh and also like these pieces which is just a cheese wedge on a one by two are very easy to knock off of there and then before you put the uh, this slope there, it's just this whole little sub-assembly is very rudimentary and it's kind of just sitting there. I didn't think it was going to look good. It, I think it ends up looking fine because there's a there's still a sort of vintage charm to this sort of style of building. And there's something very fun about, you know, capturing the essence of a thing in like as few pieces as possible and even... You know, if as crude as it might be, it's still, uh, I think, is identifiable as a race car here. So that's up at the front. Uh, this one does have some kind of interesting bricks or, you know, studs on the side stuff. The main model had that a little bit with some bracket usage kind of up on the front. Um, and in the rear, this one has a little bit as well. So instead of the main build used some studs on the side bricks for the rear bumper, this one uses them on the side for to get kind of this this shape here, which is nice. And actually, like seeing this um, gray, this dark bluish gray under here, where they're uh, like underneath the yellow, actually very much it reminds me of that icons. Um, that icons f1 car the ayrton senna car uh so i think that's actually nicely done pretty simple but nice these little bits here are uh, not really like an entire sub assembly all in one you do add the like headlight bricks with the vents on the side first and then you do one of these uh, one by four tiles on a one by three plate and it just attaches with one stud there so that could maybe be a little bit finicky a little bit flimsy it doesn't feel too too bad and I actually think it looks pretty good and it's easy enough to like get it and keep it straight because it's just lined up with everything here we do use some of the angled plates here to kind of finish out the shape other angled plates on the rear for the kind of spoiler or the fin a little bit of the vented pieces there. I also do like we used a couple of the yellow brackets. So we have the black stud on the back here and on the inside we have the gray or dark bluish gray cheese wedge in there which again really helps kind of complete this shape there and, and I think looks kind of nice from the top down. So some uh, usage in there we can still see there is some like gaps at the rear but not, I don't think, as bad as the main one because just the nature of this car. I don't know what this is supposed to be. So the spoiler kind of wing on the back is clipped on. And then beneath that, we have a one-by-one -one plate with a clip and a sort of red translucent stud there. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but uh, you can move those around. I don't know if it's a brake light or if it's a this or that or the other thing. It's just, it, there's... 
a, a lot of things it could be that I don't um, know. We have nice use of the different colored stuff to make kind of the seat area and the back and then the cheese wedge there on a jumper for the kind of headrest. There's also some little bit of studs on the side here to get this curve in. So we have kind of this and it comes out to a square and then it goes down to four studs and then goes down to two studs there before coming back out to six or um, more. Maybe this is like 10 studs wide with the wheels the way they are here because the wheels might be like two studs thickness. So it, it might be like six, but then the wheels make it like 10 or something like that so this this actually might be wider than the main one at the wheelbase here um, but some some nice techniques it's a little more modern in some respects than the main build and then in other respects it's not at all we do have a lot of visible studs here which is uh, fine and then I was sort of wondering because I couldn't get a minifigure in the main model um, and that was the case for the rotor rescue set I looked at and I thought oh, well you know this has an open top here so maybe I can get a minifigure in there and theoretically you can uh, it's there's not a great way to stud the minifigure down or to hold them in and they don't look the best in there but they also don't look terrible I think it could look worse it's just they're sitting kind of high up and I also have uh, the minifigure leaning down a little bit so theoretically they can be in there I don't they're not too too stable in there be just because they're not connected or there's no like friction thing between the legs to um, aid them in staying in there at all but this is uh, that's still kind of fine I think you know I don't know when they started adding or like doing minifigure style sets in the creator line or in the uh, creator three in one um, it might have been around this time this one and the rotor rescue were not necessarily minifig sets but uh, I think they were starting to do minifig sets in creator three in one and then you know in the last few years we've had stuff that is minifig scale like the, the cozy house or the noodle shop or um, you know lots of other things like even that like space roller coaster thing and there, there are more um, creator three-in-ones that have minifig scale stuff there was like an apartment building thing as well so uh, this was a little bit before that and I think that makes sense this looks pretty big I mean even compared to like the F1 car of the speed champions of the eight wide speed champions in 2024 I think this is bigger it feels like it and looks like it's a little bulkier that one is a, a much more elegant build this one's a uh, just a, a simpler build but very much like classic Lego uh, with the yellow and the squares and the sharp edges and the studs visible there so uh, it does have that kind of uh, that feeling to it and this is this is okay I don't know if I'm gonna think this is strong enough to be on its own I actually have a feeling that Lego made some sets that were pretty similar to this historically uh, maybe you know long before then and this feels like the kind of thing that Lego might have made a long time ago and it could be that at the time that this released in 2007 some of these parts were a little bit new uh, I'm not positive about that and it did seem like there's parts in here that uh, or there's parts that exist now that weren't he existing at the time that could have been made uh, they could have used in the main model and this model uh, for example like a one by two plate with two clips instead of two of these one by ones but like this piece for example might even have been somewhat new at the time of the release of this set I'm not a hundred percent about that so correct me if I'm wrong but um, there, there there could be some things in here that uh, that is the case and overall the build is is pretty straightforward like I say a little bit finicky with certain things stuff with not super robust connections in here 
some stuff that uh, I think is pretty elementary or rudimentary there. Um, but it does have some good stuff too. I actually think like the shaping here when looking at it from the side is pretty good. Um, same with the back. I think looking at it from the top down, this shaping is really good and this shaping is good. So that's pretty nice. You know, using these cheese wedges kind of offset by a plate and then going the different way and going the different way here is a nice way to use those kind of sloped pieces there. And I like building Lego vehicles. I'm learning more about open wheel race cars f1 indy cars and and other vehicles as well and this, this still i feel fits into the kind of cool cars uh set name here i think the main model was really cool because it had kind of the butterfly doors and stuff but um there's different reasons why someone might choose one of these over the other and i think i like the main model more than this so um that's kind of that you know i already kind of talked about all the leftover pieces here i don't know if there's any like thing crazy egregious except for maybe the um exclusion of the steering wheel and maybe these kind of metallic pieces uh these dark translucent cheese wedges could have been used on here so that's that over here we have the extra pieces which were all the pieces that were included in the set that um like weren't even using the main model they're those small pieces that lego puts an extra of in and then the rest of this is the pieces that were used in the main model but not in this alternate model and as far as price and value goes this set is 206 pieces and i paid 30 dollars for it i think in 2007 i read that it retailed for about 13 14 maybe 15 dollars which seems about right i got a sealed copy uh, of a relatively old set and sometimes those carry a premium even if it's not a super well-known set or a super highly sought after set just because they haven't made this set in a long long time and there's a finite number of sealed copies out in the wild and now there's one less so paying $30 for this didn't bother me that much I wouldn't say that this model is a $30 model and I wouldn't say that the main model is a $30 model however I do like to consider value and and time and build experience and play experience uh, with creator three-in-ones a little bit differently because I get to spend so much more time with the pieces uh, and I potentially get you know three different toy vehicles here to use and so I think I'm gonna end up feeling okay about this I kind of already have come to terms on it I think it would be a little bit odd if I came to this and said you know I spent $30 in it and it was a big ripoff because I sort of knew what I was getting when when I did pay the $30 I don't know how much more I would pay for this um, and it might be one of the sets like the Rotor Rescue that it's it's just better to get it used especially if it's in good condition and I wouldn't have any issue with that uh, in this case. But so far, the, the first main two builds have been pretty good. And, you know, I kind of talked about it in the main in the first thing like if the main car was maybe $15 and this was like a $5 build and this was like a $10 build roughly even though I can't build them all simultaneously then we're like getting right around to the $30 that I, I did pay um, so that seems reasonable to me or it doesn't seem like too too terrible and I just like looking at uh, you know different pieces of Lego history and even though this isn't like super ancient history it's still uh it's still relatively old. It's been out of production for quite some time, and Lego has even come a long, long way since the release, since the design and uh, you know sale of of this set. So it's fun and interesting for me to be able to go back and look at these. And uh, you know, I think there's people out there that could get a lot, have a lot of fun with this, and I certainly did. The other thing to make note of actually is I should have looked at this for the Rotor Rescue set because I'm not sure that I did, but uh, for lots of different Lego sets, potentially like every Lego set, including modern ones, there is a whole community of um, mock creators uh, or just people who do alternate builds, even for sets that aren't Lego Creator 3-in-1s. And for this cool Cars set, there's actually some really cool alternate builds, and some of them use 
a hundred percent of the pieces in the total set there's one called the like spinner by plutonium on rebickable uh there's another like f1 racer that uses 89 percent. there's a semi truck that uses a hundred percent a european truck alternate that uses a hundred percent of the pieces so it would use actually apparently if this is correct all of the pieces that were in the main build which is really cool and then there's some that use far less than that I, i'm sure there's some of these that use in the 50 percent or maybe even the 40 percent of all the pieces used and there was a, a long range like world war ii fighter plane that someone built an alternate uh, of this set which is really interesting a couple people made a like star wars land speeder out of the pieces in this set that use like almost all the in the entirety of the pieces here so there's some still like really really cool options uh for this and i might at a certain point take a look at some of those um i don't know if the instructions for those are free or not sometimes the instructions cost some money here but uh they look kind of interesting and if you'd be interested in seeing me like cover kind of uh community alternate builds for a, a set like this i would be more than willing to do that and i'll probably do that on my own anyway but if i should make a bit video about it uh, feel free to let me know in the comments uh, that is something that i think i would like to do here with this set but um, i do have one more model from the official set to look at uh, and that is going to be this kind of truck here this cab for maybe a semi so that'll be in another video and i i think that's it for this this is okay it's cute it's fun came together pretty quick uh and it's uh, a nice little blast from the past so that's really cool i like it and uh i think the deal was understandable uh, as far and the value is about what i expected so that's okay if you like this video please click the thumbs up and give it a like if you like my other videos click the subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date on all the lego videos i'll be doing here in the future including the third alternate model for this set maybe a kind of community designed alternate model for this set uh as well um and then tons of other Lego sets from all different themes, all different shape, size, price point, piece count, old sets, new sets, retired sets, used sets, tons of different stuff. So subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming Lego videos. Uh, we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers, and hopefully I can get there. So I appreciate all the help. It means a lot to me. So thank you, anybody that subscribes. If you're not subscribed, maybe consider clicking the subscribe button. It is free, and uh, I really, really appreciate it. So thank you very much. If you wanted to support this channel in a different way, you could do that here on YouTube with membership supers and thanks. And I have the Patreon. It's in the video description. It's on my channel page, patreon.com slash sobricks. So maybe consider checking those things out if you're interested. It does really 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 helped me and i appreciate it so thank you very much and with all that said until next time thanks bye